We begin this hour 18 with that breaking news on the Chicago Public Schools. Yeah, we just got a hold of this letter to teachers and families from the mayor. In a nutshell, it says some teachers must report to the classroom on Monday or they get locked out. Chris too has been Chris Tyra there has been all over the story since the beginning. Chris, break down what this all means for us. So let's walk you through today, Brad and Erica. There's been no negotiations at the table per se. It's all been back channel through the lawyers on both sides. That's going on right now, and those talks could go through eight o'clock tonight and potentially through the weekend. But that letter that Brad had in his hand, that is the headline today. CPS sending a letter out to staff and families saying, among other things, come Monday, pre-K and cluster teachers and staff must show up. If you don't show up, you will be locked out from that software that allows you to teach remote. And that is important because the union has said, you lock one of us out, you lock all of us out. And that lockout could trigger a strike come Monday, Erica. And that strike would happen if over the weekend, the union's House of Delegates gets together. And if a simple majority, 51% say, we want a strike, they could have a strike on the streets of Chicago yeah. come Monday. Only a couple days away. All right, Chris. So as the two sides release details and objections, we learned a lot about the fine print on what's really keeping them apart. That's right. There's been three big issues, and we learned a lot about what is keeping them apart. Number one, CPS is apparently offering 1,500 vaccinations for CTU members per week, which they feel, the union, isn't sufficient. Number two, the city would consider closing schools again if there was another COVID spike. The threshold that's being discussed, 2.5% positivity in detected in select schools. A rejection, by the way, of a more stringent CDC closing plan the union wanted. And number three, that 75%, according to the union, 75% of requests to work from home because of heightened COVID risks have been rejected. The city, though, saying that's not the case. They're saying 5,000 union members have been granted those accommodations. Listen to how the mayor framed all of this in a midday Twitter video. Now, here's what CTU wants. Give CTU members and only CTU members 20,000 vaccines now. Seem reasonable? So here's how things stand. Negotiations will continue tonight, likely into the weekend. I'm told both sides really want to get something done here, but we have had two cooling off periods. We've had 80 meetings, and now Monday is the drop dead point. We'll continue to watch it through the night and through the weekend. For now, live in the Streetside Studio, Chris Tye, CBS2 News. All right, Chris, thank you.